Hello fellow Voyagers, Jess here with Odyssey Human here today to talk about how to quantum leap into your chosen reality. Welcome to the channel. This is the place where we explore the outer reaches of human consciousness so you can be a master manifester, get what you want and love your experience. Subscribe if that sounds good to you. We'd love to have you on the channel. Welcome. This is a really fun topic today. I'm going to give you a few examples from my life of when I have quantum leaped and how to do it more in depth information on how to do it. So the first thing and the most important thing I think that we really need to grasp when we want a quantum leap, when we want to make huge changes in our life, instantaneous changes, sudden changes, shift parallel realities is that we have to let go of the belief or the unconscious habit of believing that things are sequential, that there's this long journey between point A and point B. This comes from our natural um, storytelling capacity as humans, right? We, we frame everything in terms of a story where the hero starts out, they go on this long journey, they have all these obstacles, all these things happen, and then they get the thing they want at the end. That's what we've been conditioned to. That's what we always turn to. And that's kind of how our brain works now because we use it so frequently in society. It's kind of a norm. And so we need to start letting go of that and knowing that we as manifestors are pure consciousness, right? Everything you experience in your 3D reality, in your mind, is all your awareness. It's all contained within your awareness. 3D reality is no different than a dream, right? When you wake up from a dream, you're like, wow, that was all inside of me. I was creating all of that, generating all of that reality that seemed so real when I was in it. Same thing with 3D reality, right? It's all consciousness. It's all consciousness. And we're, so all potentials exist right now in the now moment. There's only the now moment and all potentials exist. So any, anything you could want to be, do, or have is already here happening in the now moment. And instead of taking a really long journey, we can jump from the hero wants something, the hero gets it. <laughs> we shorten the story, shorten the story. Because when we, and often we're not even aware this is happening. We automatically think, oh, well, in order for me to be a millionaire, I have to build a business and make all this money. Yeah, that's one way, but there's really an infinite number of ways for you to get to that goal and be that person who is a millionaire. Same thing with your SP, same thing with anything you want to be or do or have. It's all you anyway. When you achieve that, it's still you. When you start and you're wanting that, it's still you. So since it's all you, the only thing you're ever going to experience is your own consciousness. Might as well jump, just jump, make the leap, make the leap. And so allowing more space, loosening those beliefs that everything needs to happen sequentially. This is also called, you know, wondering about the how or the messy middle or whatever it is, but shortening the journey between point A and point B that completely decimates the whole story framework of this long journey, this long path, you know, the obstacles, the things that have to happen. And initially it will not make sense to your linear mind, but as you release it and like, you know what, anything is possible. We open ourselves up then for these quantum leaps to happen. And we start letting go of the thoughts that, you know, it's going to take a long time to do this or this, this you know, it's going to take me months or years or whatever. You know, I don't, I don't know how this is possible. We let go of having to figure out how it's going to happen. And we trust in the inherent nature of everything is us or you, everything is you, everything is now and everything is available right now in the now there's no short in the journey. <laughs> so I want to tell you the story of when I was first really consciously aware of quantum leaping and the massive quantum leap that I made. So about three years ago, I was in exactly, almost exactly three years ago, a super toxic relationship with this man. We were romantically connected. Um, 
I mean, 10 years, and this was the end of the 10 years together on and off. I mean, codependent is, is bad, about as toxic as it can get. I was completely addicted to this person. I needed the emotional um, elements that he gave me. And I was just, I had tried to leave before, but I always gravitated back after a month or two. And I was scheduled to go to a healing event. And right as I was on my way there, I just, I had kind of, I was coming from a place of doneness. And we're going to get into that feeling and how you can leverage it in just a couple of minutes. But I called him and I'm like, we're done. It's over. This is for good this time. And I had literally said those words multiple times, multiple times over 10 years. I had said those exact words and he's just like, and I, I was like, I think this is for what's best for both of us. I really just, I need to move on. I need to move on with my life. Thank you. Goodbye. I'll probably never talk to you again. I went to that healing event and the gentleman there was like a guru and would lay hands on people. And it was pretty intense, very theatrical. People were shaking and screaming and crying and just releasing and trying. I looked around the room and recognized like, all of these people trying to heal themselves. And I kind of decided in that moment that I was going to leave that room as a different person, that I meant what I had just said uh, to the person I was in the toxic relationship with. I was finished with that. And that it was in my decision to be super, I was over it. I'm like, I'm leaving here a new me. And that was it. Like it, there was just so much conviction and it was the straw that broke the camel's back. Like I was just done. It was done. Like it was already done that the, the transition, the transformation was already done in my decision-making. And I've talked about this before. If you haven't watched the persistence video, uh, check that out. And I did, I walked out of that place. It wasn't like anything miraculous happened to me. The guy laid hands on me. I felt a little bit of movement. I'm just like, you know, I just feel really amazing. I already feel like this new person. I don't need to spend the next few months healing. I don't need to, like, it was done. It was done for me. I was being, I had literally jumped with the phone call and just looking around at those individuals who were carrying years and years of pain and trying to purge it and trying to get rid of it. I was like, I don't have to do any of that. I can go right to the next version of me. And I did, I walked out of there and remember just feeling sparkly and the sun was shining. And I'm like, I, I could feel myself being the new version. And amazingly, from that point on, I didn't think of that guy anymore. I, I had no cravings for him. I did not call him again. I was totally done. I was totally and completely done. There was no healing time. There was no grieving, mourning, any of that. I went right to the end point. And how did I manage this? Because there was so much, it's that doneness of being done with the, ver the A point of the wanting, the longing, the yearning, the like you're done with it. And so if you really want something and it hasn't happened yet and you find yourself trying and wanting to make this quantum leap, wanting to just be finished with it, I urge you to leverage the doneness. That's your rocket fuel. I am done being that person. I am over it. I have been there and done that and it is lame and sad and not who I want to be. I'm done. Like you, you have that in you, that conviction, that power, that authority to choose that, to decide it and then to stand in that and not waver, not waver. And I didn't waver once. I was just like pff, totally over it. Many months passed, I had moved on with life, I had met someone else, and then I ran into the same guy that I was in the toxic relationship with about eight months later at a mutual friend's birthday party. I did not revert back to Jess A. I st I was, I, the transition was so complete and so final and so done for me. When I saw him, the power balance had completely shifted. There was no pining for him. There was no yearning for him. We were now friends. We could be friends, but I had no attachment to him. I did not need his friendship. I didn't need, I didn't have the dependency that I did. And 
for it was kind of incredible for 10 years having done the same patterns and then suddenly within minutes to shed that persona and then to see him and not once be triggered by him that to me I was like wow I really quantum leapt and I still marvel today every once in a while when I see him and I'm like wow I it's kind of crazy to me how I don't I have no romantic attachment and it's it's really interesting so you too can do this use the doneness of just being sick and tired and over it to stand in, you know what? I am a new person right now. And you will find with enough, with the conviction and the power and the authority that that's how easy it is to leap into your new identity. Um, because sometimes we get stuck in the trying, right? When we're trying and we're trying and trying and it's out of our reach and we're looking, we're looking at that version of ourselves who does have it and we're reaching and trying to be, um, we can release that. Because there's a fear in that. There's fear and anxiety when you're trying to get something and you're not quite there and you're wondering if you're going to get there. Go right to point B. Go to the end of the story. It's already yours. It exists here and now. And it's already you. It's already you. And you can have it right here and now and it doesn't matter what 3D reality is showing you. It's already yours. And It's like the movie, uh, everything, everywhere, all at once. That's who you are. So shorten the journey, make the leap, use your doneness. You're just, you're over it. You're over it with that old version of you, you know, use that to leverage and you can get to point B instantaneously. You're it's you, it's all you anyway, anyway, you're, you're going to go. It's you, it's your awareness. It's your consciousness. So Um, And there's a fulfillment in that. There's a safety in that. When you land in it, you're like, oh, there it is. There it is. I'm I'm there. I'm done. It's done. It's there. And then you don't have to try to say, oh, it's done. It's finished. It feels. You'll feel it done. You'll feel it finished. You'll feel it complete. You'll feel the fulfillment. And you're like, yeah, it's mine. So that's where I want you to be. Um, Know that you can get there. I know it's a little bit abstract, But it's all you, it's all your experience, move within your own consciousness, go to the place where it's already yours. And then the reality will coalesce around that. And you'll see how easy it is to make these quantum shifts in your life to not have to take time to heal to not have to take time on the journey to just go right to what you want, claim it, stake your claim, stay there. And using your conviction not to waver. Um, Yeah, so hopefully that helped you. Drop a comment below. Let me know what you thought and be the person now that you want to be is all within you and your potential to quantum leap whenever you want. I've actually done this a couple times this week. I used the same method. I was over it. I'm done with that old version. I am in the new version. I don't care what anybody else says. This is me now. This is who I am and just standing in that and miraculous results. So I encourage you to try. Let me know what your experiments brought you. Let me know what you found. If you have any questions, I'm happy to engage. Thanks for watching. Have a wonderful day and happy quantum leaping. Bye.